Good evening. We begin this hour 18 with a milestone in the pandemic, a looming deadline for some people getting unemployment benefits. As of tomorrow, the checks end for nearly 453,000 people in Illinois, many who work freelance or are self-employed or have exhausted federal unemployment. But we've learned fraudsters are still hard at work. CBS News' Jackie Costa is working for Chicago, out with this warning to make sure you don't get taken. Jackie. Brad, as these federal programs are winding down, IDES is now warning people to be on the lookout for suspicious text messages and emails as they say scammers are once again on the prowl. The uh, debit card. Take Herb Junkie and his wife, Georgette. Georgette didn't want to go on camera, but Herb says their two month IDES headache began with two letters saying Georgette wasn't eligible for benefits. So I didn't think nothing of it. But then all of a sudden we got an approval letter. An approval letter for benefits Georgette hadn't applied for and didn't need. But that wasn't it. A debit card showed up and a letter requesting an interview because of a question regarding eligibility. There was a number that they were going to call for an interview for the, for the card. And I called the number and it was actually a answering machine from a girl named Tricia. Herb says they filed a police report, called the debit card company, and reported the issue to IDES, which he says took a few attempts. So it's, a, it's a big hassle, but it's worth it. Worth it to stop the scam in its tracks. We're having to apply. Susan Winstead still finds herself and... squarely in the middle of hers. I found out that somebody had changed the deposit information to another account that's not my account. The military veteran says she's been receiving unemployment benefits since January without issue, but now the money has been rerouted to a Wells Fargo account she doesn't have access to. She called IDES, who told her she now has to fill out an affidavit, which will be delivered by mail. Wells Fargo can't do anything without direction from IDES. So Winstead is left waiting with her unemployment money unreachable. When you're trying to look for a job, which is a full time job, and then trying to um, deal with this um, and pay bills and all that stuff, it is very, very stressful. I did reach out to IDES about these cases and just how widespread these scams are, and I'm still waiting to hear back. Brad? Yeah, well, that tells you something. So what should people, hopefully not call them, but what should people do if they think they might be a scam victim? Well, Brad, they're just supposed to either email or send in their fraud or scam report to the website, submit it there, or make a phone call. But as I learned from the folks that I spoke to today, that is not always an easy process, Brad. Mm -hmm. Jackie, thank you.